Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eva Venice of PainFreeForLifePilates.com located in San Diego, California. In today's video, I'm going to show you five awesome stretches uh, with a yoga strap that will help you increase your upper body flexibility and mobility. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility. Um, in today's video, um, we are going to use a yoga strap. Um, the first uh, stretch will target your shoulder girdle, your upper back. I'm going to fold my yoga strap in half, just make it a little bit shorter. Um, hold it with your hands wide apart, especially if your shoulders are tight. And sitting up or standing up tall, take your arms over your head and see if you can lower your yoga strap behind your back. And then bring it up and forward and let's repeat it again. If you feel really tight, just bring your hands a little bit wider apart. If you didn't feel much of a stretch, bring your hands a little bit closer to each other on the strap and nice and easy, just working through the tightness in the chest and in the shoulder muscles, do a nice big overhead circle again, making sure that your head does not jut forward, try and keep it up on top of your body. Then bring the strap above your head and sit up or stand up tall and start bending towards the side. If you're sitting, you can put your fist onto the yoga mat next to your body to help stabilize yourself Raise the other arm over the head and just stretch as far and as high up towards the ceiling as you can. And then slowly start rotating your ribcage and turn your chest up towards the ceiling. And then come back stacking the hands on top of each other. Then bring that top hand behind you, shining your sternum up towards the ceiling, make sure you're not straining your neck, just follow the movement of your spine and look at the ceiling, not letting the head drop back or forward. Let's do this on the other side as well, so we are even, just take it into a nice side body stretch, you should feel it in the shoulder, underneath the armpit, rib cage, lower back, this is a wonderful stretch for the upper body, and rotate your rib cage, so your sternum and your collarbones are facing the ceiling. Nice and easy, just warm up those joints, going into a little rotation. And let's do this one more time. Okay, now that we nicely mobilized the shoulders and the thoracic spine, let's continue with the yoga strap right behind the back. I'm going to put it on the middle of my back, just to the base of my ribcage. Sit up nice and tall again, and just think that you're going to arch your back over that yoga strap. Push the chest out and try and bend your back over the strap as much as you can. Then bring it about an inch higher up and repeat. Just arch your back over the yoga strap. And that will help increase extension in your thoracic spine. Now we are going another inch higher and curve your back over that yoga strap. Uh, let's mobilize that stiff thoracic spine mm, that gets so immobile from long days at the computer. Mm, let's just try and get every little segment moving. Mm, very good. Hopefully you feel already that your back is moving a little bit better. Um, then we're going to do a very nice neck and shoulder stretch. I call it the straight jacket. So you're just going to get your yoga strap. Mine is nice and long. Yours might be a little bit shorter. And just put it right on the middle back if you're a woman right where your bra strap is. And then we're going to just um, hang this yoga strap over one shoulder 
and bring it out under the opposite armpit. And then we'll take the other end and we'll hang it over our shoulder and we bring it forward underneath our armpit. I'm going to turn uh, my back towards you so you can see how I crossed it on my back. And then I'll turn towards you and let's do the stretch. So as you're holding on to the ends of the yoga strap and you're pulling them downwards, they cut a little bit into your upper trapezius and levator scapulae muscles, the ones that pull your shoulders up. And now we're gonna reverse that and we'll pull our shoulders down, applying a nice, nice stretch, nice pressure. And then gently bend your neck to the side. As you bend your head to the right, you wanna stretch the left shoulder. So just pull those straps down and just let your upper traps open up a little bit. And let's repeat it on the second side so you're still pulling down on the yoga strap. And just bend your neck to the side. You should feel a delicious stretch in your neck. Um, since we already wrapped ourselves into this yoga strap, let's uh, continue with this and uh, add a nice shoulder stretch to the mix. So just put your hands behind you. You can shorten your grip on the strap if you feel like you, you could handle a little bit more. And just take your arms behind you, push the chest forward, open up mm, the front of the rib cage as well. Because if your chest muscles, if your shoulder muscles are tight, they will, they will pull your upper back and your head forward and they will just um, cause neck pain and upper back tightness. Okay, then we're going to come out of this strap and since we've done a bunch of extension already, now let's finish the stretches with a nice forward bend to um, increase flexion in our spine. So just put the uh, yoga strap on the bottom of your feet and just wiggle a little bit, try and sit on your sit bones. Mm, then fold forward and um, I'm going to cross my yoga strap because I feel like that will give me a little bit more of a stretch. Um, so you can do that too if you want. Mm, fold forward and just bring your hands as close to your feet as you can. Um, as you're doing this forward bend, imagine pressing your upper back in the air behind you, hollowing out your chest, hollowing out your stomach and that should give you a little bit uh, more of an increased stretch in the upper back area right between your shoulder blades and in the lower part of the neck. Now speaking of the neck, make sure you tuck in your chin and you just look down on your knees or on your thighs, that way your neck will nicely follow the curvature of your spine. And this was the last one of our stretching exercises. I hope that you're already feeling increased flexibility and mobility in your upper body. Um, if you enjoyed these exercises and you would like a complete protocol of how to increase your flexibility and mobility um, at home in a safe and effective way, um, please visit my website at www painfreeforlifepilaris.com and click on the shop tab. Under the shop tab you will see a number of um, do-it-yourself home um, exercises, home routines. Choose the flexibility and mobility home program and you will receive more than 40 corrective and healing stretching exercises that you, uh, you can start doing at home and work on your flexibility and mobility at your own time whenever uh, you feel like you need it. Um, if you would like more personalized guidance and you would like to work with me, also visit my website and, and set up a free 15-minute phone consultation so we can get things moving. And while on my website, be sure to sign up for my newsletter so you get weekly updates when a new YouTube video releases. For more great video tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility, visit my YouTube channel and check out my playlists. Thank you for joining me today.